dreams without goals are just dreams. Come on. And ultimately, they fuel disappointment. Exactly. On the road to achieving your dreams, you must apply. This all comes from Pastor Bernard. I just stole it. You <laughs> must apply discipline, discipline? Come but on. more importantly, consistency. consistency. Because without commitment, you'll never start. But without consistency, you'll, you'll never, never finish. finish. There's no such thing as film acting. The truth is the truth. For the person way back there in the back, this is the truth. For the person right up here in the front, this is the truth. So if the camera's this close, it's still the truth. The truth is the truth. Is it all this, how oh, I have to bring? No, you don't. You have to be honest. The camera will catch you lying. I blame no one. I look in the mirror. On the other side of it, what an opportunity we have. Because tomorrow's the first day of the rest of our lives. So what an opportunity we have to practice what he preached. Small minds discuss other people. Gossip. Good minds discuss events. Great minds discuss ideas. First, you will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. There's no doubt about it. Embrace it because it's inevitable. And I should know. But here's the thing. I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I prayed. I prayed. And I prayed. But I continued to fail and fail and fail. But it didn't matter because you know what? There's an old saying, you hang around the barbershop long enough, sooner or later you're going to get a haircut. So you will catch a break, and I did catch a break. Here's my second point about failure. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Les Brown's a motivational speaker. He made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. Never give up. Without commitment, you'll never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So, keep moving, keep growing, keep learning. See you at work. There's a saying, when the devil ignores you, then you know you're doing something wrong. Wait a minute, I'm not done now. <laughs> you know, the, the devil goes, oh no, leave him alone. Hey, he's my favorite. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> Don't right. Bother right. Him. Yeah. Conversely, when the devil comes at you, maybe it's because you're trying to do something right. I just can't live my life based upon what other people think about me. So I can't concern myself too much with what other people think, you know, it's just not healthy. I, I don't think I'll con I could continue to do what I do if I was constantly worrying about what somebody thought about it. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs. Fall forward. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Because the 1,001st was the light bulb. Fall forward. Keep working. Keep striving. Never give up. Fall down seven times. Get up eight. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So. Keep moving, keep growing, keep learning. See you at work.
when I was 20, I worked for the, uh, I grew up in Mount Vernon, New York. I worked for the sanitation department. I was a garbage man. You were a garbage man? I was a garbage man. I worked the back of the truck, 22 square blocks. That's hard. Doing movies, is, there's nothing that we do in the movies that's, that's what I was, hard. I used to deliver for United Postal Service yeah. on the truck. Right. That was hard. Yeah, yeah. This is a joke. Yeah. Without commitment, you'll never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. It's not easy. If it was easy, there'd be no Kerry Washington. If it was easy, there'd be no Taraji Henson, P. Henson. <laughs> if it were easy, there'd be no Octavia Spencer. But not only that, if it were easy, there'd be no Viola Davis. If it were easy, there'd be no Michael T. Williamson, no Stephen McKinley Henderson, no Russell Hornsby. If it were easy, there'd be no Denzel Washington. Strength. Leadership, power, authority, guidance, patience are God's gift to us as men. We have to cherish that, not abuse it. I prayed this morning to be a better listener. It didn't work so well. <laughs> it's we're human. Get back up. Yes, I've been high up on the mountain. I've been blessed. But that's a slippery slope. Yeah. And it's lonely up there. Yeah. You know, people don't know that side of it. One of the most important lessons in life mm -hmm. that you should know is to remember to have an attitude of gratitude, of humility, understand where the gift comes from. It's not mine. It's been given to me by the grace of God. Use what you have to help others mm -hmm. you know who you, on your last day you can't take it with you right? yes that is true but you can leave it here see? you'll never see a u-haul behind a hearse i blame no one i look in the mirror on the other side of it what an opportunity we have because tomorrow's the first day of the rest of our lives so what an opportunity we have to practice what he preached 30 years ago. We were put here for a reason. God created man and God intends for us to love all mankind. And by being in a loving mood, caring for one another, that's our purpose for life. We should care for one another, and we should love one another.